and this is the effect of music. Today we'll be focusing on uh, the 1900s, specifically the 1950s, 60s, and maybe even a little bit into the 70s. Uh, but most of these songs came out in the 50s and 60s. So a couple questions for the watcher. Uh, what is music to you? Uh, what role does it play in your life? Uh, for me, I use it for uh, like pre-game as an athlete. I, I listen to it for motivation or uh, I'll, I will listen to it while I do homework. Um, just kind of have like a little bit of a soundtrack to uh, whatever I'm doing. Uh, it seems to make things go faster at least. In, in my in my eyes especially like driving long distances uh, do you listen to lyrics in depth uh, I mean for me um, when I listen to certain like certain songs for like uh, motivation uh, I won't really listen to the lyrics uh, it'll mostly be just for like the beat or like the tempo or the sound um, but if I'm listening to like music I, I'm relaxing with, I'll I'll think about like maybe what do these lyrics mean? Um, what is the message that is being portrayed in the song by the artist? And then uh, what music has influenced your life? I mean, for me, I can think about my favorite artists that influence uh, my music taste. Uh, I can think of certain albums that have shaped my way of like thinking or like the way I base um, how I think in terms of uh, like sound and lyrics and everything everything about the album you know um, no matter who you are there's there's like a certain artist that influences your taste or a certain album that you set as like a standard for what you listen to and going off of that, it's always been the same. Music has always been it's, been, it's been influential. It's it's been a part of some of people's lives, and especially in this era where people were making new sounds, new waves, and new ideas, there is a lot of identity in what you listen to. I mean, maybe we'll explain more. But there's some big faces like Elvis, you know, pioneer rock and roll. Louis, uh, not Louis, sorry, <laughs> Louis Armstrong, who got into the uh, breaking the racial barrier and uh, blues, jazz, being talented with the trumpet, uh, making a solo instrument, a way of performing and singing with that iconic voice that we all know and love. And then the Beatles, uh, a band who really everybody knows even if you don't listen to them you know of them or you've probably heard their songs in movies and commercials you can't escape these artists but these artists they they all have something in common they all shaped the culture and one way that the culture shifts is the breaking of racial barriers we are in the time where segregation is at an all-time high where african-americans are segregated against and uh, there's a lot of distaste for someone of color but Louis Armstrong like I mentioned before he he broke that racial barrier of course there is debate on if everybody really liked him or not but that's kind of how everybody is everybody has their taste but Louis Armstrong is one of the main guys who proved that race doesn't mean if someone's better at music or just the whole color thing is based is just out of the window the talent that Louis Armstrong has is undeniable no matter how bigoted someone would be uh, this is a picture of one of my favorite albums by him uh, hello Dolly it has a song called you are woman I am man uh, I would perform it for you but that wouldn't sound very good I'd sound like cookie monster trying to uh, panhandle you but uh, there's a lot of instrumental genius in this song and Louis Armstrong's vocals they're 
they're different, but it's an iconic sound that I'm sure if you heard a song that you've never heard by Louis Armstrong, you'd know it's Louis Armstrong just by the voice. Uh, this is in the area era where artists were focused on teenagers first before the older generation. Uh, a lot of artists focused on making making big hits that were able to be danced to. Kids wanted to dance and they still want to dance. Uh, the Man of Twist, this is one of my personal favorites because of my grandma. He is a chubby checker. If you don't know chubby checker, I recommend hearing a few songs by him. But chubby checker, he made songs to be danced to. Almost every single song on the King of Twist that I have on CD is about a certain dance, and you're supposed to do it with a partner or by yourself, or just in a whole group gathering. And it it brought people together, and they all shared the love to dance to Chubby Checker. To address the elephant in the room, Elvis Presley, uh, undeniably the pioneer of rock and roll. Uh, obviously, there's more than one, but if you think of the pioneer of rock and roll, it's Elvis Presley. He made a whole new wave in terms of rock and roll. The way he presented himself, the way he performed, the new sounds that he attempted. He had people like Frank Sinatra saying, you know, the way he performs, it's way too provocative. It's too much, you know, and that was kind of how this era was for the people I want to make stuff that you could dance to. It's being too much. And Elvis Presley did a great job at that. Fats Domino, very similar to Chubby Checker. Um, Elvis Presley gave way to Fats Domino in terms of uh, making new sounds and not being afraid to do something new and not follow the standard of everyone who thinks that they know music. Fats Domino made a lot of... Uh, moves in terms of uh, new sounds, songs to be danced to, uh, performing with a lot of heart and spirit. And last but not least, uh, artists use their platform to provoke change. And the main guy I think of is Marvin Gaye, another household name, especially in the African American community, uh, made a lot of good albums that were focused on um, a message of love and you know war is hell kind of uh, approach to uh, his music he uh, has an album called what's going on and the lead single is what's going on where he sings about you know men who kill each other war that uh, devastates areas and uh, he wanted to use his platform to let the younger generation hear um, that there's a need for change in the world and Marvin Gaye did a great job at um, using his platform to speak out and use his voice for those that may not have the same platform as him so to wrap up music has always had a, a part in the culture and the lifestyles of people whether it's surface level like dancing having fun or speaking out against wrongdoing or politics um, breaking racial barriers there are just those those three things are the main things I would say that um, music uh, the goal of music in in that era of the 50s and 60s